the little engines are busy clearing their railroad of leaves and broken branches. Peter, Sam, and Rusty often work together. One day, Rusty helped Peter Sam to a water tower. Peter Sam felt much better after his long drink, but the freight cars were bored. Let's break away! Their loads were heavy, and the couplings oh, one snapped. Faster! Faster! Shouted the freight cars. A sign read, slow, steep bends and ravine ahead, but the city cars never saw it. Then, it was too late. Peter Sam arrived at the scene of disaster. His driver sighed. This was our fault. We didn't secure them properly. We'll have to get help to pull them out. The fat controller will be very annoyed. And he was. You will shunt trucks in the yard until I can trust you again. Duncan was delighted with Peter Sam's dilemma. Fancy not securing your trucks on the hill. They'll come back to spook you and your special funnel. Woo woo woo! And who's to say you're not afraid of ghosts? Snap Rusty. Bah! Ghosts! Things that go bump in the night. Rubbish. Well, I'll tell you a story that'll make your funnel quiver. Rusty said. A long time ago, a little engine was returning home. It was a misty, moonlit night. Suddenly, the engine lost control and plunged over the side into the swamps below. Never found again. Many workmen will tell you, when the moon is full, they see a little engine trying to get home, but never reaches the other side. So what do you think about that, Duncan? Rusty said. <laughs> Nonsense. Never mind him, Peter Sam. He'd be frightened if he really saw the ghost. This gave Peter Sam's driver an idea. Let's play a trick on Duncan. The next day, he spoke to Duncan's driver and fireman, who agreed. We'll do it tonight. Duncan had to take coal cars to the slate mines, and then bring cars back. Duncan's driver decided as part of the plan to cross the old iron bridge. Haunted bridge? Blah. It's the same as Bad Rabbit. Snorted Duncan. But all the same, he kept thinking about Rusty's story. When dust fouled, he was keen to leave. If we then go now, Scarlet will take my favorite place in our shed. We have to collect our cars first. His driver replied. He could see that plan was working because Duncan was nervous. When night fell, they set off. The mists were rising around the old iron bridge. Duncan whistled and the sound echo everywhere. Then, ahead, he saw flickering lights. His driver knew there were only insects that shine brightly at night. But to Duncan, they looked like an engine. Next, his driver simply threw a rock from the cab into the ravine below. It's a ghost! When Duncan reached the safety of his shed, he closed his eyes tightly. Booked are you, Duncan? Laughed his driver. No! I must leave! And Duncan refused to open his eyes. He did though, when he thought his driver wasn't looking, just to make sure he was still there. <laughs>